Well, I'm going to show you how to put a dimmer on a two-way light switch. There's a number of ways to do it, but pretty much the principle of it is that you need your dimmer in line with your light control. So you can put it at either switch, just so long as it's in line. So I'll put it at the second switch, or the end of the two-way first. Most dimmers don't have ferrules on them, but I put ferrules on it just to make it easy while I'm making a video. So I've just used the two-way from my other video. If you haven't seen that, you can go have a look and see how the two-way works here. But what I've done is when the power comes in, either the white or the red cable, just have to make a correction here, the blue cable, not the red cable. It then switches to the common through the dimmer, back on the red cable to our first switch through our first switch in the loop terminal and back to the light. So I'll just plug it in and turn it on. So now we'll be able to turn the light on and you can dim it right down. Up and down. Now you can't put two dimmers on the same circuit because if you were to dim this down to this level here and then had another dimmer over at this light switch, this would be its brightest and then it would be able to dim down further again but it wouldn't be able to get up past this. So that's how you wire it there, and I'll just rewire it in at this light switch and show you there. So we need to move the common back into the center pin over here, the red back into the common of the light switch, and then we need to take the red and the light control out of the common on this switch. We'll continue using this loop terminal. This wire's a little bit longer, so we will put this cable and this cable in here. Now, you'll notice that I've used the red on the line side, on the load side this time. Um, with a dimmer, it doesn't matter the polarity for most dimmers. You might have to check, some they, they might, but most dimmers, the polarity doesn't matter, so you can put them on either way. Now that's wired in line again with the light switch. I'll turn it on again. So now we have a dimmer again and our two-way works just like normal. Now most dimmers you get now are universal and so they'll dim an LED light, but not all LED lights are dimmable. Most, um, pretty much every incandescent light or filament light is dimmable. So there is one other place you can put this dimmer and that is direct on the feed into the light switch. I wouldn't suggest doing that because then it means that if you turn the light switch off your dimmer will always be live so it's far more preferable to have it at the switch here like I showed you or at the switch here. So just to show you how it works I've redrawn my two-way light switch here. So we have a switch there and a switch there. So the two places that I just put this in so that you can see the wiring diagram is that would have been the first placement of the dimmer on the second switch in line on and off and the other place I put it was up here in between the loop terminal and the light, or in between this wire and the light. Which side of the terminal it goes on here, it doesn't make a difference, it's just preference for that one. So the third place that I was talking about is you could put it here, but as you can see, because you're above the light switch, you'll never actually turn the dimmer off, which won't hurt the dimmer, but somebody might go to open up the light switch and find that they disconnect the dimmer thinking it's dead, not everybody tests all the time, they'll get a shock because it's live all of the time, which you don't want. Well, shout out to the guy who asked about dimmers on two-way light switches. I hope this helps. If you've got any other requests, send them my way and follow for more from an NZ Tradie.